So in the past, whenever we talk about whale shark, we're talking about absorbing enemy ailments and gaining stats from it. We're kind of missing a crucial component of the whale shark here, and that is feeding it in the shop. So this weekly, there aren't a ton of ailments. There's some, but not that many, but there's squirrels. And squirrels paired with whale shark go absolutely insane. He just now learned that's not how that works. All right, go here, toss a parrot in the mix. Always got to get a balloon cooking, you know? Okay, and we're good. Maybe we rock a camel up front. Is Tabby Cat even good? Oh, hello. This is friendly gain perk. It doesn't count for ailments. So you could Tabby Cat Frigate Bird as like a super janked version of Whale Shark. Maybe we try it. I don't know. Running like this. At least they're four fours. That's not too bad. Yeah, it does just kind of feel like a bad whale shark, right? I guess it is tier 2, so maybe that's why. Okay. Give you a meat bone. And everyone goes insane. <laughs> uh, maybe we ditch you. Get a frost wolf. With something like that. I'm not really sure what the up high-end potential is for this. Alright, well that was a very good snipe on your part. But it's not enough. Our tabby cats are too strong. Alright, camel me. Hmm, imagine a tabby cat Pegasus Seagull build. Wouldn't that be something? That'd be so strong. But it doesn't really work without the seagull. I don't think there's a whole lot there. Roll me. You can run it like this. Dude, how are we getting sniped so hard right now? What the heck? I feel like our guys are pretty tanky, all things considered. W. Whale shark is a natural fit, I would think. Maybe combine you tossing a whale shark. And then we'll try to get a squirrel. A little whale shark squirrel with the tabby cats. I don't know, I'm not even sure if that's, like, good. <laughs> you know, like... Maybe it's alright? Maybe it's not? Oh, dude, that hurts. Alright, level you. Monkey? Or do we just full send Niala? We could monkey on you, maybe. We do need to try to get some whale sharks cooking, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I think this is good. Look for some whale sharks, look for some squirrels. Any of that would be great. His beluga's going hungry. Such a sad sight. There's the squirrel. Sure. I think we really care about a level 3 on you. Maybe do this and this. I don't, I'm not super inclined to full send the whale shark until he gets to level 2 at least. Okay. Yeah, I think we're good here, right? We are in fact good here.
<laughs> Keep the tabby cat cooking. Do we tacos here? No, I don't think so. Chocolate is good. We chocolate here. Freeze the egg for the squirrel now. I think we always freeze held foods at the end of round. Yeah, we're just getting outscaled here. The simple fact of the matter. <laughs> oh, baby. This is fantastic. How hard can this whale shark go? Let's find out. Not very. <laughs> Not yet, at least. We're getting there. Okay, combine here. I think I might rather just... No, that'd be ridiculous, right? I was gonna say, just get an extra 4-4 four, four on you. That seems a little much. And then Monty goes off. Love it. <laughs> Love to see that. All right. Was that not his original ability? Oh, it's two health instead of one. Yeah, dude, Tabby Cat kind of sucks. <laughs> Low-key. That guy kind of blows. We can hold a chocolate, I guess. It's really just the whale shark, and then we got nothing after that. But he is healing himself, that's good. Keep him healthy. How far can a whale shark take us here? That's the question of the day. Like, what do we even chocolate here? You know? You, maybe? Sure. And then pita bread on you. <laughs> All right, well, our whale shark is statted up. He's officially good to go. Now what? <laughs> That's all we got. So maybe we get another whale shark? I don't know. I mean, it's kind of working. It's not great, but as long as they don't have a huge homie up front, it kind of works. That's unfortunate. Okay, we need to get rid of you. Maybe we pivot now. Maybe this is like the the full send the rest of the squad kind of vibe. Okay. Stegosaurus would probably be good. Oh, I just realized Bikita can't be where it is. That's not good. Oh, well, I think we're dead anyways. That was a lot of snipes. Okay, whale shark. <laughs> the whale shark part was pretty good. The everything else kind of sucked. How do you how do you get a high end on that, though? Like, we don't have Konpeitos. We don't have any support synergy besides the tabby cat, which is bad. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe we'll do a ferret. I don't know yet. Let's be some... Oh, super auto. And bamboos. Super auto pillocks. Dude, we're getting close. Close to the super auto pets. Unfortunate snipes there. Can't do much about that. Ooh, two ferrets? Now we're talking. 
at you. I guess it's just a bunch of three twos anyways. Alright, full send. We gotta level up next turn. Let's not worry about the ducks. <laughs> I think we can leave the ducks be. Dude, what the heck? So many snipes. Alright, give me a toad. Maybe we'll level a sneaky egg, I'm not sure yet. See, where was this team a second ago? <laughs> I'm gonna go against this guy more. Alright, go here. Roll me. If we can find a ferret, that'd be awesome. Bat might not be bad either. There it is. We go here, we go balloon, into, honestly dude, let's run a goldfish. I like this. Not only is it a high health homie, but it'll also benefit from the extra moth stuff. Okay, we don't want to keep it here. We don't want to give it the balloon. I mean, whale shark is kind of good. If we go penguin, we'd have to get rid of the sneaky egg. No, maybe we send the whale shark. It's a hard sell, for sure. You know what, let's do this. Alright. Do that, give you a couple buffs here. Essentially just two pairs. Good. Look at that. Finesse in it. And then the whale shark gets buffs. Wonderful. And we get a level up into another whale shark. Honestly, though, squirrel. Squirrel kind of cooks here. High key. Um, let's do one. And then we'll take the time to get some rerolls here. Mm, don't love it. The reason I didn't want to do both of them is because you can't guarantee the squirrel there. You can't guarantee it's going to hit what you want it to, the held foods. So I think this is a safe play. And we had some chances to roll into something good. Didn't quite hit him, but... What's the saying? You miss all the shots you don't take? Okay. I mean, we don't really need the moth anymore. Maybe we send a hawk? Poor me. Okay. Maybe we can stack two whale sharks. That could be a very good play here. I'm glad we sniped the wolf there. That would have been a little iffy. Okay. Give me a level first. I mean, Nyala is just straight up solid. We go here, keep you frozen. Roll, oh baby. And toss into Vikita next turn too. I mean, this is just going swimmingly. Thank you for the food. Ooh, the Niala gets us there. Love to see it. All right. And then we double up here. And then I think we're just gonna do... Do we care about the toad or the hawk more? Probably the hawk. Though admittedly, I think both of them probably need to go. We'll toss in a Stegosaurus here in a little bit. But maybe this is a good hybrid. If we get these two leveled, we get some whale sharks cooking. We could be in a pretty good spot here.
Oh, we were so close. So we go here. Double stack you. Hold on to you. Hold on to you. See, here we go. I'd even consider getting another squirrel. As crazy as that seems. Okay, peanuts in the back saves us. <laughs> that could have been bad. But we're good. Alright, star me here. We go here. We go here. Oh, baby. That's what I'm talking about. We'll get a Niala level up next turn. Hopefully have a key to see it soon here. We'll see though. And then our whale shark I think is just gonna take them all out. <laughs> it's a beautiful sight. And now we get free held foods at the start of the turn. All right, now we need to find another whale shark. Do we use this here? Not yet. Actually, this chocolate isn't there. Yeah, I guess we should. In case we find chocolate. But we really want to be looking for whale sharks. Man, we're not finding a darn thing. Maybe we hold gingerbread for the Vaquita. It's at least free, right? Oh, and then the, his, his homie's bigger than our homie. Okay. So let's go here. Might as well use this. And I guess we want you like that, right? Just in case we have a similar thing happen. Sure. I'm disappointed we aren't finding any whale sharks. I feel like we found some and then now they're all just gone. There we go. We're finding some now. Alright. Next turn we pop off on the whale shark. Part 2. Electric Boogaloo. Don't hit you. Oh, it hits both of them. Shoot. <laughs> Dude, it's such a pain. Alright, combine here. Um, don't care about you. Hold on to you too. Okay. How does this do? Surely this does well, right? Surely. <laughs> we'll see. Yeah, dude, we're cooking. We're out here cooking up a storm. 32, 32. Love to see it. And now let's get you going. Give him some beans. There it is. And we'll hold on to the egg for later. Hmm, the ordering went kind of weird there, didn't it? That was almost bad. It's weird because they, the Niala got sniped before the Vaquita, but then the Vaquita still went before the Niala. Weird. I don't know. But we got the draw. That's all we were really looking for. Go here. I think we put it like this now. Roll me. If we can get the Vikita, I'll do it. We did not, so we'll just stack you a little bit more. Alright, how does this do? Gonna do the thing again, isn't it? Man, if that wasn't that exact interaction two times in a row, that would have been perfect. Yeah, I hate to see it. I, I guess I get it. It technically, they're dying at the same time, so then the higher attack guy goes. 
But they didn't die at the same time. You know? <laughs> they didn't really. Anyway, that was a fun one. That was a good little whale build with a little bit, a little hint of of uh, Golden Retriever action. Always gotta run the ferret, of course. You know how it is. If you see a ferret early, how do you say no? Okay. Oversized. <laughs> Not going there. You can get straight up canceled. All right. Ooh. Ferret tends to not do very well, I've noticed. I just don't think it really keeps up with the the current state, but that's okay. He's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's always the teams that lost the first round that just hard stack mites, and I never understand why. Like, what's the point? You're just gonna lose. Okay. Well, this is a little unfortunate. I was hoping to get a level up here. Maybe. Okay. Run it like this. We could maybe rock a camel here. Or a dodo. Either way, I don't think we're going ghost kitten anymore. So if we go camel, it's going to be better early, worse late game, I think. Dodo is worse early, better late game. But I think I'd rather do a good early game right now. So let's try this. Dang. Dang, dude. Mind you, go here. Sure, we can do this. Another camel. What if we run it like that? Just side stack some camels. Honestly, I feel like that'd be pretty good. Oh, baby. That is good. I love it. Okay, love to see it. And we get the guinea pig, dude. All right, starting with the level here. And then we go level here and then see what we do. I mean, that's a whale shark squirrel right there. Okay, let's run it. Hold you two, hold you. We're definitely selling Marmoset. No reason to really full send that, homie. Okay, he doesn't have enough. That's good. Yeah, we're good. Honestly, dude, I think guinea pig might be one of the best, like, pivot pets in the game. Because look, it's also very strong. It's the strongest pet on the team, and it got two level ups. That's just insane. Another whale shark? That's honestly fine. I'll take that. Where do we go with dragonfly? Nah, <laughs> we gotta full send it. Dragonfly it is probably the correct play. Let's be clear here. But it's not the fun play. And there's something to be said about the fun play. And I'm gonna save this free reroll here. I'd rather have a reroll on tier 4 when I can get another whale shark and or squirrel. Oh baby. That's what I think about your bat. Just eat that weakness. Eat it for breakfast. Okay, roll me. Lovely. Let's try to get one more. Um, so if we get whale shark here, we can still buy all of it. We did not. I think we do this. And then honestly... <laughs> We're going insane here. This might end horribly, just for the record, but what if it doesn't? <laughs> what if it doesn't? Um, unfortunate snipe there, for sure. <laughs> he keeps feeding us, though, so that's kind of nice. 
the toad actually helped us there. Okay, here's what I think we do. We get rid of you. We set another whale shark here. And we start leveling him. But we're not going to invest fully in him yet. But we can definitely start getting him ready for level 2. So that once this whale shark is cooked up, we can immediately move to the next one. Okay, and we are good. The 1-4 whale shark kicking it. Love to see that. So you just get 8-8 eight, eight per turn, essentially, is what we're looking at. Oh my lord. I mean, surely we don't stack another one, right? <laughs> right? We'll put one on you. No, actually... It's tough. We're at, we're at such a weird gold count. We'll leave it up to RNG. Hopefully we get held foods and just randomly rolling into it, but if not, so be it. This might be the largest whale shark ever seen on tiers on turn 9. <laughs> this guy's insane. And we got one. Maybe we get you ready for level 2, or level 3. Alright, looking for a a one final whale shark to rule them all. Sir, I don't think that Armadillo's helping you out there. <laughs> I don't think it's doing you any favors. We got a 41 attack, homie. Alright, so you're maxed out now. That's perfect. Now we can move on to this whale shark. That'll do. Go here. I mean, you got a hammerhead here, right? We'll leave it up to the RNG on the foods, but I mean, that's just a free food right there. That's just too good. I, I honestly don't think there's a way we could lose here, short of just selling everybody. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, dude, there's too many whale sharks. We don't have enough food for all these whale sharks. You're getting 6-6 six, six every turn. Alright, so one more held food on you. And then we'll probably combine squirrels and try to pivot into a solid... I don't know, maybe a walrus? Walrus wouldn't be bad. Dude, this is insane. <laughs> How do these whale sharks not take over here? Okay. Dart me here. I mean, it's probably Sabertooth Angle. Let's do this. Hold on to you. I want to get you basically maxed out. And then we can get the level 3 Sabertooth next turn. Hammerhead, maybe. Wouldn't be bad. I'm gonna like this. I think that was just an unusually large team we played. Because this is more what I would expect on a turn 13. I think those guys are just cracked out of their minds. <laughs> Another one. Okay. I mean, we probably just do this. Because 50-50 is much better than 48-49. If you're going into another 50-50. Dude, imagine if we had Konpeto right now. <laughs> We'd be cooking. It'd be so good. I mean, I guess we give you garlic here. Not bad. 
The squirrel might need to go. I'm not really sure what the squirrel's doing at this point, but I guess it doesn't matter anymore, does it? <laughs> Absolutely insane. It, okay, this may not be a full demonstration of whale shark power, considering that was just, you know, if you get infinite of a certain pet, you're probably gonna do all right, you know? But that's gotta be a new land speed record for getting a two maxed out whale sharks. That was actually insane. If you made it this far, odds are you're enjoying the content. And I've got great news for you. There's plenty more where that came from. Check out these videos here that YouTube thinks that you might enjoy. And I will see you all in the next episode. Have a good one.